after a day-long escalation continued between BTS supporters and law enforcement agencies outside ex-Premier Imran Khan's residence, the Lahore High Court stopped the police operation at Zaman Park till 10 a.m. tomorrow, while the Islamabad High Court disposed of a plea seeking the cancellation of the PTI chief's arrest warrants. The situation in Zaman Park was peaceful even as droves of PTI supporters remained outside Imran's residence. On Wednesday morning, Islamabad police, backed by Punjab police and rangers, resumed efforts, which began on Tuesday, to arrest the ex-premier in connection with the Tosha Khana case. Imran has skipped indictment several times, which led to the judge issuing non-bailable arrest warrants for him. However, they were met with strong resistance from PTI workers who pelted stones at them. The police responded with volleys of tear gas. Lahore High Court's Justice Tariq Salim Sheikh, while hearing the petition filed by PTI leader Fawad Chaudhary seeking to stop the atrocities outside Zaman Park, passed these orders. Meanwhile, the Islamabad High Court disposed of a petition seeking the cancellation of warrants issued for Imran in the Tosha Khana case. After the law enforcement agencies pulled back, celebrations erupted at Zaman Park where PTI supporters cheered, chasing the rangers away. Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif said that the threat of Pakistan defaulting on its debts was now over and that a staff-level agreement with the IMF would happen soon. Addressing a delegation of Council of Pakistan newspapers editors in Islamabad, the Premier said his government had successfully managed to save the country from default. He said all the efforts were being made to pull out the country from an economic slump. کہ ایسی شرائط وہی جو اس حکومت نے مانی تھی ان شرائط کو آئی ایم ایف نے اس دفعہ کہا کہ جی وہ آپ اس کے اوپر من ون عمل کریں گے اور اس کو آپ باقاعدہ ہم اس کا جائزہ لیں گے تو یقیناً یہ بات ہمیں ماننی پڑی ہے اور اب معاہدہ اسٹاف لیول پر مجھے امید ہے کہ انشاءاللہ وہ جلد ہو جائے گا اور پھر وہ بورڈ کے پاس جائے گا پی ٹی آئی لیڈر ڈاکٹر یاسبین راشد کین بی ہرڈ ان انادر پرپورٹڈ آڈیو لیک allegedly requesting President Dr. Arif Alvi to intervene as the situation worsened during the police operation at Imran Khan's Zaman Park residence in Lahore. The President responded to the PTI leader by stating that he would look into the matter, saying that he had already spoken with Asad Umar. Yasmin allegedly said that if the situation continued to deteriorate, the elections could be postponed, which is unacceptable for the party leadership. Dr. Ralvi stated that he would speak to Asad Umar again, to which Yasmin responded by suggesting that he should also speak to senior PTI leader Shah Mahmood Qureshi. I think you need to talk to somebody and intervene immediately. Nene, I have talked. آپ یہ کہہ دیں آپ ان سے کہہ دیجئے کہ میں بات کر لیتا ہوں خان صاحب سے نہیں نہیں آپ میں سمجھا نہیں آپ کیا کہہ رہی ہیں دیکھیں سر اس وقت تو سیچویشن یہ ہے کہ کچھ مر جائیں گے لوگ ابھی کچھ پولیس والے بھی مر جائیں گے سیچویشن اتنی بری ہو جائے گی کہ الیکشن پوس پون ہو جائے گی جو مقصد تھا ہمارا ٹھیک I think what you need to do is tell him خان صاحب کہ جی I think The best thing is to give in and fight another day. Other, I am. 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 Going from back to us. Chalo, let me consult with Asad also. The Foreign Office reacted strongly to a series of suggestions made by former U.S. envoy for Afghanistan, Zalmay Khalilzad, saying that Pakistan did not need unsolicited advice on the challenges it faces. A day earlier, Khalilzad, who had served as the special envoy for Afghan reconciliation under both the Trump and Biden administrations, said that Pakistan was underperforming and falling far behind India.
Foreign Office spokesperson Mumtaz Ara Baloch responded to Khalil Zad's tweets today saying Pakistan does not need lectures or unsolicited advice from anyone on how to cope with the challenges we face today. She added that as a resilient nation, we will come out stronger from the present difficult situation.